We must understand the past if we are ever to be free of it. Man at Arms, Chapter One, A Premature Promotion. The politics of a military career are perhaps as treacherous as war itself. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation, he had at last claimed a coveted command and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. Chapter 2 A Leader of Men Behold the conquering general, marching his men to victory. A massacre, a complete and total failure of command. Chapter three, one eye open. Every night, the men of his regiment would interrupt his fitful convalescence. Mutilated and maimed, the spectral garrison clawed at his bed covers, whispering hateful truths in his ears. The exhausted attendants in the field hospital would wake to the sound of panicked screaming and inglorious sobs. It was not the war that had taken his eye. It was pride. Chapter 4 Ghosts of the Past Demoted and disgraced, 
he returned to the battlefield, ready to endure the wrath of his regiment and grant them some small peace. He would sleep undisturbed, and perhaps find some comfort in that murky abyss of dreamless wonder. Chapter 5 in the trenches. He resolved to spend his remaining years seeking atonement in the trenches of bloody battlefield the world over. For him, there could be no respite from the horrors of war, and when at last he was struck down, he would die alone and unremembered. Surely, he deserved no better. <laughs> 